Hall. Outstanding job, young fella. Only a second year out of Gonzaga. Clay Thompson called for the offensive foul, shoving Collins to the deck. And Clay jawing with Collins right now. And now a technical foul, double tax call. Ooh, and Collins didn't like Jarebko and what he was trying to do. Draymond steps in. He's yelling at Ken Maurer right now. It got chippy in the second quarter, settled down in the third, but starting to heat up again here in the fourth. And they're going to take a look at it. Which I thought the right thing to do initially was hit them both with double T's, try to settle it down and calm where cool heads prevail. It was the right decision. This is just a, you know, obviously, Clay Thompson uses that off the arm, little subtle shove that's clearly an offensive foul. And then on the way down the floor, both guys, a little communication. You don't see Clay Thompson do a lot of jawing. It continued, and then Collins wouldn't back down. Jarebko came in. Right here by Hart. Goes to the crossover to the late three shifted by Capella. Tucker ahead for Ariza. Ariza to the rim is tied up by Thompson. Good play by Clay Thompson, who is an excellent defender, and it will be a jump ball. someone a coward how are you not going to put your name to that quote you know like it's easy to point at someone and call them a coward with you, but behind like a, a, a shade or a shield you know but why don't you put your name to it and then call someone then you can call us cowards that's fine you can, speak, you can tell us that but to, call, to say we play like cowards and you're not going to quote the guy who said it that's weak to me man just how are you going to quote mo and not anybody else that that, that made that actually got on my skin for me call us cowards, but you're not going to put your name to the quote who, you know what I mean? You're not going to say, uh, quote, who said it? You're just going to say, oh, some executive said they're cowards. Get out of here. That, that made me mad. It's like, we played our hearts out that whole playoffs, the whole season. You can call us cowards and not put your name on it. Get out of here. Are you yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Chris Topps, how's the family? <laughs> Like he's no, he, Draymond's still talking to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Draymond's oh, not backing down. You better back this. down. Draymond's not backing down. Hey, he's saying, hey, bro, I got you in my pocket, brother. Draymond's got so much heart. I don't know if Porzingis wants any of that. Now, we get a double T here and no free throws. Double and that will be the call. It's a double T. Draymond wants all the smoke. He's just looking for trouble. He just wishes somebody <laughs> would. Look at Clay. <laughs> Come over here. I will talk to you. Bruce Bowen. Look what's going down between Golden State and Indiana. Roy Hibbert and David Lee banging down low and legs, and it gets a little feisty. Yeah, David Lee with a little shove trying to block out, and then Hibbert takes exception to it, and then you have your basic basketball fight. A lot of shoving, a lot of grabbing, some chest bumping. And better than Steph Curry, you got to like the fact that you're the smallest guy on the Shoot, ain't no building. Just go do what we do. 
like build from this game. This game sucked. We lost. Let's go win Friday. Let's get in, let's win big. Let's freaking win by 30, like we're capable of. But uh, it's basketball, so I'm excited for Friday. I thought we would come out and win tonight, but sometimes life doesn't go as planned. We're still in a great position with hopefully only 48 minutes left to close these guys out. They've been pesky. They've been tough. But now it's time to do what we do.